Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a couple uh, things in this lesson. First, we're, um, we're going to detect the edges, and I'll give you the code. The second thing we're going to do is separate the colors and put them in a 3D scatter plot. You guys see? Before I get started, um, I need to let you guys know, uh, you guys can use your own images for this data set. As you can see, this is the image after I did this with CV2 and I did K equals 2 for K means because we're going to be using K means in this lesson. So basically, I'm detecting the edges since I put it at 2. That's the original image, guys. You see? This is Phuket. It's a nice beach. I was interested in visiting there someday. And guys, uh, you can use your own image. And uh, I'll skip ahead for one second. You guys see right here, the elbow of K of uh, the true K, the elbow is right here at 2. Therefore, if your elbow was at 4, you would put 4, and so on and so on in that range. Now guys, um, let's get started. Before I get started, I need to let you guys know, if you guys are new to my channel, I've got all kinds of uh, things from MLOps. So this is very basic. I've even got a couple other image processing. I've got one for color extraction. See that one. I've got one for uh, sharpening and using filters. See that one too. In fact, I'm going to leave links to those below. And guys, just so you know, I use K-means for tabular data. I've deployed K-means models on my uh, channel. I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got ML Ops with SageMaker pipelines, ML and AI web apps. You name it, I got it. So check out my channel. I've even got convolutional neural networks. You guys might want to check that out. I've even got anomaly detection in DNA with uh, you can use your own DNA file or you can use another DNA file or you can apply the lesson to another data set that's unlabeled just to detect anomaly. I'll leave a link to that one too below. Also guys, um, just so you know on my channel um, I've got everything you can think of pretty much. I've got reinforcement learning. Check out that playlist. Check out my other playlist uh, for SageMaker everything. I've deployed nearly every model. Check out my check it out. Now guys, um, one thing I need to let you guys know is for CV2 when you use Google Colab, if you use a Jupyter Notebook, um, I, I'll skip to that part in a second. But uh, for for Google Colab, you have to use CV2 IM show the patch. Okay, so guys, so import NumPy for uh, scientific computing CV2 computer vision and cluster for K means. We're going to be using K means and K means mini batch. So we got to reshape the array after we read it, right? Then convert it to MP float. Now we're going to check in this range. You guys see that right there? This was to get the elbow, and then we're going to plot it with matplotlib. This, the, it's for uh, data visualization. Sorry, I stuttered for a second. Anyways, guys, um, as you can see, the elbow is 2. Uh, back to where I was talking about, let's say your elbow was at 7. That's your true K. So on and so on. Also, guys, if you want to increase the range, you guys can do that as well. The range right there. You guys see? Okay. Now, the CB2 for K means Z. Remember, guys, because we had to convert that, there's your shape. The random centers, NumPy, we always use UNT8 because we, we just computed it, the center. Okay, and then flatten it, reshape the array, image shape, 
CV2, I am show, the res2, the reshaped of the image. And there we go. Guys, just so you remember, this was the original image, and uh, the K was set at 2. We could have increased the K to, you know, just to play with it. You guys can do that as well. Okay, so we're going to use mini batch K means. We're going to use 2 because we use 2 over there. K means fit Z. Cluster centers. K means predict Z. Okay, guys, and then new colors was that predicted. Now we're going to plot it right here. Fig plot figure. You guys can change that to two-dimensional if you guys want. I just put it at 3D because I thought it would be cooler. Remember, guys, you have to put X and Y, remember? So, therefore, in the X scatter, X and Y, I chose new colors and Z. The reshaped uh, image. Okay. New colors for your colors. PLT show. There we go. Pretty cool, right? One more cool feature of Google Colab. You can save the image or open in the new tab. Guys, just so you know, I recommend Google Colab for some of my other videos for convolutional neural networks, where I do plenty of those, actually. Check out that playlist, too. Um, because TensorFlow is pre-installed, and you can change the runtime. You see, guys? And then uh, if you guys do... Uh, a professional account for like 10 bucks a month or you upgrade even higher it's more compat the the hardware is uh, accelerators even more compatible you guys can do heavier data sets with many convolutions you name it eh. anyways guys I recommend Google Colab because your virtual environments also installed as well Remember guys, I got everything on my channel. I've even got Azure deployments, Google Cloud deployments. And remember guys, you guys can use your own image if you guys want. You guys don't have to do Phuket. One of many cities, uh, one of many places I was interested in visiting. Here, because of the beach, Bangkok just seems kind of seedy. Um... Anyways, guys, I hope you learned from my video. Stay tuned. If you guys are here for the first time, remember, uh, check out everything out. If you guys have been watching this whole time, I appreciate y'all. I really do. Also, guys, feel free to share uh, some of my videos with other people. I'm sure if you're here for something, there should be something else you need. And there's something else somebody else may need. Or you just want to watch for fun binge watch, whatever, feel free, guys. I appreciate y'all, sincerely. Anyways, guys, um, don't worry, I'm going to continue this channel, but if you guys could please comment and give me some ideas, that might help too, you know? So then I can know what other videos you guys might need. I'm going to get back on the cloud eventually. It's just I need more subscribers and more more uh, viewers. Remember, the cloud is not free. Speaking of which, check out that database video. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Bye.